She Reminded Him by Charles W. Chestnut Read by Frank Blissett When Jones married Miss Joinstock, Eastern culture, acting upon a naturally quiet and plastic temperament, had apparently eradicated all traces of that lady's earlier training, or lack of training, in the not very remote period when her father was a common, everyday Nevada miner. Jones is a clever young fellow, and knows it, and as a natural consequence is a trifle conceited, of which he is also conscious at times. He went to a party the other night, and, under the stimulus of good company and good champagne, talked a great deal. In fact, too much. The next morning, while dressing, he remarked to his wife, "'My dear, I wish you had more of that, that vivacity of intellect, that, that, spontaneity of expression.' that, er, in short, more of that snap which makes some woman's influence upon persons of the opposite sex so far-reaching and beneficent. For instance, when you hear me talking too much, it would be the simplest thing in the world for you to make an incidental remark or drop a hint that would exercise a restraining influence. Pull me up a bit, so to speak, and keep me from making a fool of myself. Do you think so, dear? she said quietly. Then I'll try to do so, and in order not to lose any time, she continued softly after a moment's pause, I'll begin now. When Jones recovered consciousness, his wife was bending solicitously over him, holding with one hand a damp towel to his head, and with the other a glass to his lips. "'Drink this, dear,' she murmured in her usual quiet way, "'and you'll feel better. I'm awfully sorry for you, but you forgot that I was raised in a mining town.' That was She Reminded Him by Charles W. Chestnut Read by Frank Blissett